This is Medicon Valley, stretching from southern Sweden to Copenhagen. It's home to the largest medical and dental schools in Scandinavia, which are part of the Faculty of Health Sciences. The School of Medicine was founded in the center of Copenhagen more than 500 years ago. Today, Copenhagen is a leading center for students and researchers engaged in clinical and preclinical medicine. Students and researchers at the faculty work in a range of fields from biomedicine to clinical medicine. The faculty is renowned for research into cell biology, metabolism and biostatistics as well as neurosciences. I came to the University of Copenhagen because I wanted to work at the forefront of biomedicine. The research environment here is very efficient, funding is in place, and I get to work with talented researchers. In fact, many world-class researchers are coming to Copenhagen. At Copenhagen University Hospital, clinicians and doctors work side by side with researchers. Only a few hundred yards separate Denmark's largest hospital from the Faculty of Health Sciences. In the maternity ward of Rieshospitalet, the main university hospital, a woman has just given birth. The placenta's weighed. A laboratory assistant is on standby throughout the birth so as to transport the placenta to a laboratory at the faculty. Through a tunnel that leads from the basement of the hospital to researchers who use the placenta to examine toxic chemical substances that may have been passed from mother to fetus. I really like this place. I get to work side by side with the doctors and nurses at the hospital and I do real research at the university. 4,000 students, 800 graduate students and 1,000 researchers work side by side at the faculty each day. Academic standards are high and students put in long hours of work and study. The professors are available to help both undergraduate and graduate students when necessary. There really is no hierarchy. Um, you're actually always welcome to ask the professors anything you like. And you know, no matter how small, they always have time and they always take my questions seriously. Lectures are held throughout the day in the various lecture halls. Students are able to study for a degree in a wide range of subjects, including medicine, dentistry, human biology, molecular biomedicine and public health. What is really unusual about our faculty is not only that we combine research and education, history and modern life, but also the close proximity between the researcher and the patient. At the faculty, there are more than 800 doctoral students working towards their PhD degree. What is important with this faculty is that we are close to the hospital where we can get inspired so we can get the clinical situation that our patients are faced with back to the research laboratories as well as to the students. It's Friday afternoon. International and Danish students and professors gather in the campus courtyard to have a beer and relax after a hard working week. Copenhagen is a great place to study. The Danish capital is both a medieval university city and a thriving modern metropolis. In 2008, Copenhagen was nominated as the best city in the world ahead of Munich and Tokyo. What put it up front was its quality of life, focus on environmental issues, excellent restaurants, social and artistic scene. The harbour's so clean that Copenhageners can swim in it during the summer. A surprise to many foreigners is the visual impression of a city with literally thousands of cyclists. In fact, thousands of students and professors cycle to work at the Faculty of Health Sciences. It's an easy way of transport and the students have no parking problems. Most people ride their bikes here because it's, it's really the easiest way to do your bit for the environment. 
and it doesn't really cost anything either. The Scandinavian pharmaceutical giant Novo Nordisk, which is based in Copenhagen, works in close partnership with the Faculty of Health Sciences. The students are our most important human resource. They represent the future research scientists and clinical scientists within our company and in the healthcare system as a whole. In 2007, the Faculty of Health Sciences received a substantial donation of 80 million euro from the Novo Nordisk Foundation for the establishment of a protein research center. We look very much forward to collaborating with the Center for Protein Research. Asker Omund embodies the spirit of the Medicon Valley. He's founded two biotech companies, Neurosearch and Bavarian Nordic. The teamwork between university research and product development in industry are creating better science, better drugs, and we also benefit from competent graduates who come to work with us after graduation. This is a great day. After six years of hard studying, I finally got my diploma. I'm really looking forward to start my career as a doctor. Det er vist opfyldelse, jeg er en yder mere, en håndstrækning har forpligtet.